A new update has dropped for the Memcard Pro 2 that has added in bigger memory card sizes of 16 and 32 megabytes. So I want to share with you all today a video on how to consolidate your existing PS2 memory cards into a single larger memory card on the Memcard Pro 2, as it could be beneficial if you plan on using this on multiple devices like the PS3 or on your PC. So with today's update, 16 and 32 megabyte cards are now available. They are compatible with a lot of games. Not every game, mind you, but most things should work just fine. So that is actually the setup that I plan on using with this Memcard Pro 2 for easier save consolidation and transfers between different devices like PS3 and my PC for emulation. So what you're going to need is a setup Memcard Pro 2 with the latest firmware update. You can follow along with my initial setup guide for the Memcard Pro 2 to get that all up and running. So you're going to need your SD card, an SD card reader, and then of course PS2 memory cards that you want to consolidate into the Memcard Pro 2. So once you have the Memcard Pro 2 all set up and it has created an initial memory card, that's where we're going to dive in. So just follow that video up until that point and then you can follow along with this video. So the first thing we're going to do is copy the 32 megabyte pre-modded image I created onto our SD card. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is download my FreeMC Boot or Funtuna pre-modded memory card image at 32 megabytes. Just depends if you have that PS2 90,000 series or a PS2 Bravia TV if you need Funtuna or not. They're not going to appear in this video because I'm still in the process of making them. I apologize, just give me a bit. Should be up shortly. But we're just going to go ahead and grab the 32 megabyte card from this folder. Again, links to this will be in the description below. Once downloaded, just go ahead and get it extracted. And inside the folder, you'll find a memory card named 1-1.mc2. And this is the default memory card image that the Memcard Pro 2 makes for you when you first set it up. So now we're gonna go ahead and open up our Memcard Pro 2's SD card, head into our PS2 folder, open up the memory card 1 image, and you'll see memory card 1-1.mc2. And this one is the 8 megabyte card, so we're just going to go ahead and overwrite it with our new 32 megabyte image. If you have already copied saves onto this card, I recommend moving them off of it, otherwise you will lose those saves. But there we go. Memory card 1-1.mc2 replaced with our new pre-modded 32 megabyte version. So now we're just going to go ahead and eject the SD card. And put it back in our Memcard Pro 2 and get the PS2 loaded up. Now when you boot up the PS2 and you get an error about fragmented files, that's okay. It's just because you might have had other memory cards written and the 32 megabyte card is writing into those gaps and other gaps, which causes this error to appear. So I'll show you a fix for this one real quick. So if you have a ton of memory card images and you plan on just consolidating them all into one, you can either back these up or just outright delete them. I'm just going to delete them. I don't need them anymore. But one method you could try is to move the memory card image off of your Memcard Pro 2, delete the folder, and now that we have no other memory card images on there, we could try copying it back on and see if that fixes it. And now when we boot up the PS2, it's working as intended. If that method doesn't fix it, you will have to do a full format of the card and just start over from scratch. Regardless of which method you use to get it to finally boot up, you should be brought to a free MC boot menu that looks like this. And so again, this is a pre-modded memory card image intended for per game IDs, but if you don't want to use per game IDs like I don't, it still works fine. We're just going to do one thing inside the Memcard Pro 2's web UI to disable the per game ID settings. So on the Memcard Pro 2, you can hold down the left face button and then release it when it says release for menu. And then you can press the right face button to get the Wi-Fi address for your web UI. So now just type that address into a web browser to bring up the Memcard Pro 2's web UI. Now under the settings tab, under the PS2 section, we can disable the game ID feature. This way we don't have to worry about it splitting saves up between different memory cards and everything will just be in one big default startup memory card. And then you can also choose the default size for cards if desired. 8 megabyte is actually pretty good for this because for those few specific games where the bigger size memory cards don't work, like Hitman, you will need an 8 megabyte card. So you could easily just push the front face button to change over to an 8 megabyte card and have those problematic games work. Again, you don't really need to worry about all this in the per game ID stuff, but again, if you want to have consolidated saves so you can have the nice uh, towers in your boot animation and all that, like, it's just something you gotta deal with. But once you have your settings set, just go ahead and click save. And now we're ready to begin transferring over old free memory card boot settings as well as our saves. 
So now on the FreeMC boot menu, go ahead and launch into Launch Shelf here. Insert the memory card that you wish to transfer settings and saves from. So I have my official eight megabyte memory card popping in right now. Go into the file browser. And if you look at the bottom row, it'll show you what your commands are for the file browser here. So I'm just gonna go into MC1. And the first thing I'm gonna copy over are some apps that I wanna save onto the Memcard Pro 2. So I want to have this XFAT MX for SIO version of Launch Shelf available for me to manage my MX for SIO remotely. So I'm just gonna press R1 once I have that selected. Gonna copy it. Now I'm gonna back out to MC0, go into the apps folder, and paste it in. If you have newer versions of OPL, you can also paste them in right here as well and just delete the versions that I've provided you. But anyway, now I'm just gonna go ahead and copy over all my saves and FMCB settings. So I'm just gonna go through and select all my saves. Gonna copy over my OPL folder and my system config folder. So same thing, just gonna copy all this. Go up to memory card zero, and then paste it in. Now I'm just gonna wait for it to do its thing. And if you're copying over previous free MC boot information, just go ahead and tell it to overwrite the current sysconfig folder. And there we go, my first set of saves have now copied over to the Memcard Pro 2. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my first memory card out, pop in my second one, and start consolidating saves from it back onto the Memcard Pro 2 as well. And there we go. Now all my saves are here. Reset your PS2 afterwards. And one more thing you could do to free up some extra space on your new single card setup is to come in and delete the regions of FreeMC boot you don't need. So for example, I'm in America, I don't need it for China. Or Europe. Or Japan. So there we go, that clears up almost an entire megabyte of space. But if you copied over previous FreeMC boot settings and didn't copy over the apps you were using for OPL, you're gonna need to change the pathing to OPL on your FreeMC boot configurator. So just head into configure OSD sys options, find your OPL listing, I named mine PS2 games for simplicity, and then just change the app location to wherever you happen to have it. So again, the one that I preloaded is just apps OPL with ID. We disabled the game ID feature, so it's not gonna matter, but you can replace this with the latest OPL beta if desired. And once that, just save the configuration to memory card zero, and then you could exit out. And now you're free to begin using your PS2 with one larger consolidated memory card. So you can load up OPL, other apps as you see fit. And to confirm everything's working as intended, just gonna load up Ace Combat 5. So going into load game, and there are all of my Ace Combat 5 saves ready to go. And as you can see, it's still set to memory card one, so the consolidated card is working as intended. And again, the benefit to a consolidated card is that in-game reset will now work. You don't have to worry about it not resetting the card back to your default free MC boot card. So if you are using a PS2 Slim with MX4 SIO or something like that, you don't have to have a second dedicated free MC boot card for in-game reset to work. So there you go, a quick, easy way of getting all of your memory card saves consolidated onto a larger memory card size in the Memcard Pro 2. Thank you so much again for watching today's video. Hope you found it informative and it helps you get your Memcard Pro 2 set up to your desires. But here at the end, a couple of usual favors, thumbs up, thumbs down, sub button, notification bell, and if you'd like to help support us, check out that join button and Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Every little bit helps and big thank you to all of our current champs, you're amazing. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.